Hey YouTube, in this video I wanted to talk about the three most important Maclaurin series um, that are used in calculus and do some simple examples. So Maclaurin series. The first one uh, we'll talk about is the Maclaurin series for each of the x. Remember, a Maclaurin series is a Taylor series centered at zero. So that's what this is. This is the Taylor series for each of the x with center zero. It's called the Maclaurin series. So Maclaurin is Taylor at zero. So e to the x is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from zero to infinity. And you have x to the n over n factorial. So like, let's say you had to find the Maclaurin series for, um, I don't know, e to the 3x. All you would do is you would, re you would replace all of your x's with 3x. So you'd have the infinite sum from zero to infinity. And here you would have 3x to the n over n factorial. And that's it. Now, you could simplify this a little bit, right? You could write this as the infinite sum as n goes from 0 to infinity. And you can raise the 3 to the nth power and the x to the nth power. So you could write it like that. So that's the first one. So the Maclaurin series for e to the x, super useful. Then we have the Maclaurin series for sine x. So sine x is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And sine always has a negative 1 to the n. And sine is an odd function, so it only has odd powers of x. So as an odd power, you would have 2m plus 1. 2m plus 1 is always odd. And on the bottom, you have the same thing, but it's a factorial. Before we do an example, let me just show you here. Cosine is very, very similar. Cosine of x is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. It also has the negative 1 to the n, except cosine's an even function, so it has even powers of x. So it's a nice way to memorize the formula. So sine is odd, so it only has odd powers, so 2m plus 1 is always odd. So if you know that, you'll know the formula. Cosine's an even function, 2n's always even, so if you know that, you'll know the formula. So like, for example, say you had to find the Maclaurin series for x times the sine of x. All you would do is you would multiply the above sum by x. So you'd have x times the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity. Then you have negative 1 to the n, x to the 2m plus 1. And on the bottom, we have the 2m plus 1 factorial. Then you would distribute the x. There's a 1 here, so you would just add the exponents. So it would be the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. You still have the negative 1 to the n. There's a 1 here, right? x to the 1, so you add the exponents. So x to the 2n plus 2, right? Because 1 plus 1 is 2. Then you still have your 2n plus 1 factorial. What if you wanted to find the Maclaurin series, say, for um, 1 over x times cosine of x? In this case, you just multiply by 1 over x. So 1 over x, infinite sum, as n goes from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n, 2n factorial. And then this time, there's a 1 here, so you subtract the exponents. When you have x to the 2n over x to the 1, you get x to the 2n minus 1. This would be the infinite sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n minus 1 over 2n factorial. I kind of rushed through the video, wanted to keep it really short. I only have a few minutes, but uh, hopefully that was helpful. That's it.